What's up guys, it's Rio. Um, so, I dyed my hair by myself like four days ago and uh, might as well decided to share with you guys how I did it. So previously I had uh, brown hair, which I did about two months ago by myself. I probably had my natural color for good, like eight years or so, untouched. And then two months ago, all of a sudden I was like, you know what, I'm gonna dye my hair. And then I did it, it was actually a bleach, but a very light kind of a mild kind of a bleach, so didn't make it too light, and I kind of liked it. And then uh, the root part came out uh, about a half inch, and so needed a retouch. And so this time, I bought a little stronger bleach because I wanted to make it a little lighter and this is what I bought. So I bought this Japanese brand Palti but brand shouldn't really matter. This one comes with the easy to apply brush nozzle and gloves. So you make the mixture then replace the cap with the brush nozzle then just apply. Pretty easy. So I started applying my roots part first except the scalp though. Because of the scalp um, temperature, it's gonna um, bleach a lot faster. So, except the scalp part, like the very bottom part of the hair, um, I applied the bleach on the roots part first. So, this is what it looked like. And I started with the black part. And then I combed through. Um, and then, after a while, I finally put uh, on my scalp and left it out for probably like 15-20 minutes or so and then it came out like this as expected it came out pretty orangey um a brassy kind of color so then um the next color i applied was this this one's also palty it's a greenish ash color so they both are the same brand, but um, I really don't think it really matters. I just chose this just because um, I went to, originally, I went to Target and then went to uh, uh, Rite Aid or CVS next, but then I didn't find uh, the kind of a color that I was looking for. And then I stopped by a Japanese market and I found this and I was like, okay, you know what? I was originally looking for more like a silver-ish ash um, toner, but then I found this greenish um, ash color that I liked it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Anyway, so I applied this greenish ash color and then this is how it came out. So it toned it down pretty well. Um, still, it's definitely one of the lightest I've had in the past long time but I wanted something different this time needed a little change just for fun so um, pretty happy with how it came out and to be honest it kind of came out left out orangey um, on the top to uh, the back part a little bit but um, so at first I was like shit I'm gonna have to redo it but then then I actually realized I kind of like the orangey to like a greenish gradation by bringing the uh, the color from the, the top to towards the front. And so I was like, you know what, I kind of like that gradation so I just keep it that way. So I did not redo it. So here it is. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely spend a lot of money like probably if you have to like bleach then color your hair it'll probably cost you like a good hundred dollars or so a hair salon but then um you know you can do this is something that you could do at home by yourself and if i want to further um get rid of the brassiness a little more i have this um blue shampoo and um I could try that on maybe a little later on when the green fades off a little bit if I want to. But anyways, I kind of like what it is now. Anyways, um, I think that's all for today. Um, thank you for watching and make sure to give thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. And I'll see you guys next time.